Jim, a job well done in the end. Yeah, um, you know, they, they've obviously made a few changes, we've made a few changes, and uh, it was a very entertaining uh, first half, but I thought that if we kept our consistency and strength throughout the second half, I thought we'd go on and win the game, but uh, a little bit like Saturday, I didn't think Saturday was a 4-1 defeat, and I didn't mm. think today tonight was a 5-2 win, but uh, I suppose it's just about taking chances. Yeah, and good to uh, get some minutes into players like Chinedu and Harry, yeah, we, we we had a couple of players uh, pick up knocks on Saturday and a couple of other lads um, who were missing tonight for different reasons. Um, so a little bit forced upon us, but it was a great opportunity to be able to to get Sinead a start, um, you know, give Harry Benz a start, um, get the likes of Kieran back into mm -hmm. the fold now, um, and Fenton some minutes, so Carter even, you know, so it was really good for them. Um, but again, it was, a, it was tough on the lads who played. <laughs> Every 90 minutes for the last sort of five or six weeks, so uh, we're going to have to just be really careful on Thursday with them now in terms of their loading. Yeah, and good to have Jonah back as well, and he got on a score sheet. Yeah, um, typical goals for him. Uh, you know, real predator, uh, pouncing on anything that's put across the six-yard box or anything that comes off the keeper. If you look at all of his goals, they're all very similar. Um, so, but again, the lads worked really hard. In there was some great movement to get into great positions. Um, first half in particular, we had a a great low cross from the right with pretty score from and a great low cross from the left um, so and uh, I think Fenton had a really mm. glorious chance as well when Carter got to the bylaw and pulled back so it's nice to see some of the work with the training ground pay off because we're not the biggest front line mm. but what we need to do is make sure that we attack the back of the fence and play the kind of ball in that they can score from and so that side of it was really pleasing tonight. Yeah and off to Atherton Saturday a completely different game again won't it? Yeah I, I think um, uh, Warrington are a good football inside. The, it's a nice pitch here. They try to, to work it through the lines, but they've also got the other side of it. They can compete physically on set plays, and uh, so I can see why they're in good form. I think tonight uh, it was a tough ask, maybe for the lads who stepped in. Mm. Uh, you know, they start the couple from uh, their Saturday game. They start, had players off the bench playing, but there was a couple of others that came into it. Um, but yeah, I think Atherton. Uh, be a bit more of a difficult pitch, uh, a bit more of a, a solid, uh, maybe a bit more of a direct game, a bit more of a war of attrition really. There's some good football t tonight, um, but I think it'd be a tough, hard-fought game on Saturday and we've just got to be prepared physically to make sure that we can compete in that environment. Brill. Cheers, Jim.